Ukraine's armed forces advance another 1,400 meters on Bakhmut front. Here's a summary of the article. The armed forces of Ukraine were able to advance up to 1,400 meters on different parts of the Bakhmut front during the day, Serhi Cherevatyi, the spokesman for the Eastern Group of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, said. Spokesman for the Eastern Group of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, on air during the National Joint 24-7 newscast. Quote from Cherevatyi, in total there were six combat clashes, during which our defense forces killed 138 occupiers, 236 were injured, and one was taken prisoner. Details. According to Cherevatyi, the Russians are building up their defenses and trying to counterattack the positions of the armed forces of Ukraine, but are failing. The spokesman announced that they have information about the potential, command, and capabilities of the Russians. This post received a score of 30,000, with an upvote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. As an aside, this article is perfection the way it is laid out. A map, a summary, sources, quotes, and some details. No BS. If only all news was like this. This is how Pravda does it every day. Good for allowing people to fact check. UA Pravda is terribly biased and bad source for anything regarding the conflict. This sub couple days back. They base a lot of reporting on words of Ukrainian officials, which may not be reliable information. So yes, they accurately report that person X said Y, but they don't verify, at least with military stuff, that Y is correct. But they also do a lot of larger investigations and articles, and I'd say they're one of the best Ukrainian newspapers. Greater than so yes, they accurately report that person X said Y, but they don't verify, at least with military stuff, that Y is correct. Anything to do with military action is incredibly difficult to verify, particularly when the Ukrainian mod has officially gone radio silent regarding the counter-offensive, and the Russian mod will just spew lies. Unless there's an eyewitness report from a non-combatant, something that should be pretty difficult to come across at the line of contact outside of cities, there's no way to verify. It's going to be slow bloody progress. A shame it has had to come to this. This is just what war looks like when you don't have air superiority. Good thing they're getting new fighters and the Russians have been too chicken shit to fly over Ukraine for months now. Greater than good thing they're getting new fighters it's going to be months at least before we see any F-16s over Ukraine. It's not as simple as dropping a UAF pilot into the cockpit. Western estimates say about four to six months for most Ukrainian pilots for training on Western platforms, so at earliest late September since they started training at the end of May from what I understand. Go Ukraine. Go get your country back. Absolutely. Ukraine. Kick and take land back. This is your home. Let them feel every ounce of pain for trying to invade it. Slava Ukraini. Kick names and take ass. I'm here to kick bubblegum and chew ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. So they already reversed six months of Russian effort in Bakhmut. It ain't as impressive as their Kharkiv breakthrough, but that's not bad. We always knew this offensive was going to be closer to Kherson than Kharkiv. The Russian army has hundreds of thousands of mobilized soldiers mostly behind entrenched positions with plenty of drone and artillery support. The main reason the Kharkiv offensive was so successful was because the Russian army literally had police SWAT teams guarding a large length of their defensive line completely unsupported. It was a disaster waiting to happen. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.